Israel Gaza Iran War News Live Update Diplomats rush to defuse tensions amid Israel Lebanon war fears. The world has been fearing for months that the escalated cross border strikes between Israel and Hezbollah militants in Lebanon, backed by Iran, will spark a wider Middle East conflict. To prevent this, mediators from the US, Europe, and Arab countries are making strong efforts to prevent this. Over the weekend, Iran threatened what it called a obliterating war with Israel over Hezbollah, Israel and Hamas are at odds in Gaza, and a truce between the two sides would put an end to assaults by Hezbollah and other militias linked to Iran. Hezbollah is significantly more powerful than Hamas, but it is believed that they are overconfident in their ability to challenge Israel's military force, according to current and former diplomats from the United States and Europe. The United States and Europe have warned the organization that it cannot expect anyone to stop Israeli authorities from launching an offensive into Lebanon whenever they are prepared to do so. Israel and Hezbollah, a heavily armed militant group in the region, appear to have reached a lull in their growing attacks this week, at least on the Israeli side of the border with Lebanon. Daily strikes continue to hit the border area, but there was some hope that the modest shift could alleviate immediate anxieties. It certainly seems the Israelis are still arranging themselves in the expectation that there will be some kind of conflict, an entirely different magnitude of conflict, wrote Gerald Feierstein, a former senior U.S. diplomat in the Middle East, in response to the recent lull in hostilities, this is a message for Hezbollah, don't think that you're as capable as you think you are, he stated. Launching missiles into northern Israel the day after Hamas' October 7 strikes on Israel sparked the conflict in Gaza. Hezbollah has vowed to continue until a ceasefire takes effect. As a result of Israel's retaliation, tens of thousands of people have fled the border in both nations. Following Israel's assassination of a senior Hezbollah commander this month, the group unleashed a series of devastating missile attacks. The potential conflict that could ensue was characterized by UN humanitarian chief Martin Griffiths as apocalyptic. Heavy losses are possible due to the combined forces of Israel and Hezbollah, the political powerhouse in politically divided Lebanon. Some experts are concerned about the influx of ideologically motivated militants entering the region, and some predict that other militias in the region tied to Iran would react much more aggressively than they have towards Hamas. Destabilizing refugee flows are a top concern for Europeans. In a post on X on Saturday, Iran's UN envoy ratcheted up tensions by saying that a full-scale Israeli attack on Lebanon would lead to a obliterating war. In response, Israel's foreign minister, Israel Katz, threatened full-force action against Hezbollah unless the group ceased its attacks. According to Feierstein, the United States will step in if it appears that an Israeli offensive in Lebanon is going significantly south for the Israelis. In my opinion, they would not consider any other option than that.